You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Brogdon, you are in court to prove to Ms. Jones and her daughter that her deceased son, Tyrell Jones, fathered your one-year-old daughter, Quamira. You say once the DNA proves your case, they need to step up for your baby. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Sugden, you say without a doubt that your brother did not father Ms. Brogdon's daughter. You say the stress of her accusations have affected your mother greatly and is preventing her from healing after the loss of her son. Uh, you want her to move on and find her daughter's father. Yes, Is that correct? So, Ms. Brogdon, how has your daughter been affected by the denial? She has been affected from no, no partake in her father's side of the family. My baby's one, she only saw their side like four times. She only see them when it's time for gatherings and stuff about Tyrell. It's hard. My baby had a seizure. She been sick. I've been going through everything with her. I have five kids and she's my fifth one and I'm struggling. Didn't have a job since I have her. Like, I have no help at all. all and this is really difficult for you to raise her alone. Yes. Ms. Sugden, you say that there's no possible way your brother is this child's father. I don't think that's my brother's baby. I don't. Why? Tamisha, first of all, slept with two of my brothers. So that's what left me, like, I'm... I'm I can't trust anything she says, honestly. I mean... She slept with... With two of my brothers. Two of them. Two of my brothers. And that's true, Ms. Brogdon? Yes, Your Honor. But you're in court saying that just Tyrell is your daughter's father. Yes. If you slept with the other brother, too, yes. could he potentially be the child's father, too? No, Your Honor. I heard otherwise. You did. What yes, did you I hear, Ms. Sugden? Ms. Chambers told me that she slept with my other brother around the same time that she slept with Tyrell. So there is a possible... Like, so she slept with two brothers... Around the same time that she... Around the her. same time. Yes. That's not true, Your Honor. Ms. Brogdon, you were in a relationship with Tyrell? Yes. You were? Mm-hmm. Explain to me the nature of that relationship. Me and Tyrell, we were together for, like, three years. Like, close to the end, Tyrell started cheating. He started staying out. He started doing all this type of stuff. It was one night Tyrell lied and said he was at the police district. I went to the police district to check to see if he was there. He wasn't there. I went to his grandmother's house where he said he was there. He was not there. And I waited for him. I stayed there. I was drinking. I got mad and me and the brother had sex. I had sex with Paul in, I say, March. I got pregnant in June. How do you end up dating one guy, you dating this guy, right. and then you sleep with his brother? Because you're mad. The same. Because you're Just mad. Just for the anger? Yes. And so you did it to get back at him? I've been through a whole lot with Tyro out of the three years. It was not just him lying and staying the night out. No, it's more than that. Ms. Sugman, you're saying you've heard personally that she was sleeping with two brothers around the same yes. time. Yes, Your Honor. I slept with Paul one time. All it takes it's is one not. time, sweetheart. No. It so, Ms. Sugman, do you think home. it's a possibility that your other brother could be this child's father? I think well. there's a possibility. That's what, yes, I got that news. So, yes, now I think there's a possibility. Yes. This is what she did to us. She slept with two brothers and, two, and we hate her because of that. She okay. slept with two of my brothers and tore our family apart. She had my I'm brothers fighting out know. there. If... We're close. She had my brothers How fighting. They never fought ever. Know, though? They so never Ms. fought Jones, ever. You say you, you, you're very upset because... No, how am I supposed to know that that's really Tyrell, um, Tyrell's daughter? If she's not Tyrell, she's Paul did. So, bottom line, she's your granddaughter and she's Ain't your no niece. Ain't no bottom line. Ain't no bottom line. She's still part of your family. Bottom line. What you mean, bottom line? Bottom line, she's still part of your family. You don't know that. It's somebody else in the picture. And we ain't supposed to do nothing without knowing. How you think somebody's gonna do something without knowing? Hold on, hold on. You crazy? Ms. Are you crazy? Ms. Brown, no, so, what are we supposed child. to do? We don't know if that's I'm our baby crazy or not. About my child. Wait a She's minute. Wait Jones. a minute. We don't know that. Wait, Ms. Brogdon. We we Ms. Brogdon, hold on. Because your testimony just changed slightly. You said at first you only exactly. slept with Paul once. Exactly. And it was nowhere near the window of conception. And then you just said now that it's either one of their babies. If it's not it's... Tyrell's, it's Paul. So either way, the child is related to you. So There's which... no way. I'm saying it because <laughs> that's what they say. They're trying to make me seem like Paul's my baby dad. He's not. He's not my child's father at all. We don't know who your baby daddy is. Okay. 
So, ultimately, you're saying this has affected your family? Yes, and my brother's living with... He has to live with guilt because of it, you know? Now he has to carry this with him. You know, it's just too much. It's affecting our family too much. We need to get this over with ASAP. Because he has guilt because he knows slept he with slept her. with her. Yeah, and it's a possibility, you know, that he could be the father. He was, like, even upset about trying to take the test. You know, it's too much. He was upset about taking the test because he knows he's not my baby father. I heard that we'll story see. from a family member. So, today's test will reveal which of the two brothers is the father of your child or whether or not either of them are, in fact, the father of your child. This is indeed a family affair. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Two brothers slept with the same woman and you don't know which one is your child's father. Is there anyone else you were seeing during that time? No. And you say Tyrell, he wanted this pregnancy. Yes, Tyrell went to every appointment, every one. But she didn't say it was his until he died. We didn't even know about it. Even when she was at the hospital delivering the baby, she never called us, ever, never once. We could have went to the hospital right then and got a test done. She never called. How was it his Why baby? didn't you call? Excuse me, Your Honor. When I had my daughter, I called Tyrell's child mother. Uh, and what she got to do Tierra, with us? Tyrell's sister was right there, and Deanna told her, this is Deanna, Deanna told her, Misha had the baby. Do you want to go to the hospital? When I'm going to the hospital for? Yeah. Right then and there, y'all could have had a DNA test. I never that denied That was the day before no you was about test. to leave the okay, hospital. Okay, so you brought a witness, ma'am. I'd like to hear from her. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. Deanna Chambers. Miss Chambers, you are... Tyrell's daughter's mother. Tyrell's daughter, so his older child... No, the middle. The middle child, mm -hmm. mother. Yes. And you're here testifying on behalf of Ms. Brogdon... Yes. ...who claims that he fathered her child as well. Yes. What do you have to add? When she called me and said she had the baby, Tierra was at my house. I said, Tierra, she had the baby one go. Oh, what I'm going to the hospital for? Right then and then, y'all could've got a DNA test done on that day. Why didn't Mish call? Why is she going through you all the time? She's a grown woman. You're right. Why Excuse did she me? go through me? But she's going don't, through you about like everything. Y'all hate me. That's but you're a that's grown woman. Here. If you want somebody to help true. you with your child, you be a woman about it. Excuse the me. The same way how okay, y'all on let's, Instagram let's, talking let's about me and my child. Down. My innocent child that don't have nothing to and do with the situation. Her. It's ladies, you. ladies. No, it's not. It's about her. This is about her. Why we here? You did. You messed up right? Ladies. So, Miss Brogdon, you're saying that. Ms. Sugden and Ms. Jones, they didn't know anything throughout the pregnancy. No, they did know something about... The you believe they did? Yes, they did. I came to the funeral pregnant. I was eight months pregnant. How didn't y'all like, know I was didn't pregnant? I didn't see you at the funeral, Mish. I, I didn't see you. I, don't, I, don't, I came to your grandmother's house the day that he passed away. She sat I at the table at the repast with the family, pregnant. Yes. Tira, you did not sit next That's to me high. on your grandmother's couch and say Tyrell's gone. I spoke to you, but you were too busy crying. And you hugged me and said, Tyrell is gone. I never hugged you. I didn't even like you. Whatever, I, right? I didn't you. like you either. I don't like it. And that's fine. And all you right. don't like you. No. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> they are upset because of the fact that you admittedly slept with two brothers, Miss Brogdon, and it wasn't right on their part either. But they are, of course, feeling a a kind of anger or resentment towards you, yeah. it's had long-standing consequences. So you do understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So you brought a witness. Yes, I'd like to hear from her now. Please stand, ma'am. <laughs> and your name, ma'am? Um, Tiara Jones. Okay, Ms. Jones, mm -hmm. you're Terrell's sister. Yes, I am. His okay. younger sister. And what do you know about this firsthand? I was told not only from Ms. Chambers, but another mutual friend that she had another her other's baby daddy, last name was Jones. And, um, originally, Kwamira was named after him oh. and not Tyrell Jones. So, I, oh. it's just a coincidence that both of their last name is Jones, but at first I heard that he was there. And then, you know, however it went, he, he was no longer there. And then that's when I started hearing, okay, things about Tyrell. Now, I knew that she was, she was, in fact, pregnant, but, um, I never heard it out of Tyrell's mouth that, oh, I'm having a baby with her. All, all everything that we ever heard was back and forth, he say, she say. The day that she did go to the hospital when she, um, had her baby, Deanna was getting dressed, 
And I asked her, where are you going? And she did, in fact, say, oh, Misha had the baby, I'm going to the hospital. Not one time did she invite me, but I was going to go with I sure had to invite you. You didn't have to invite me, but Especially I did not know if that's test, my That's your niece. invite. She had the baby. Did you go? That's your invite to come with me or call okay, your mom. Okay, but I never, I never I even knew. I should have to say, let's go. Give me your hand. She's not the, the one that got to do the DNA test. Firstly, so I don't. Firstly, I'm, I'm, I can't even do the DNA test. No, That's can't. number one. Number two, I never said. I never said. I never said, said, I I never said that had was the my baby. Okay, I think the, I think the question is, is this? If there was a level of concern or belief that one of two brothers could be this child's father, yeah, and once you did th know that the child was born, why didn't you go to the hospital? Did you not because go because she has you five didn't believe? Baby daddies and it, it don't matter. She has and it so that's been why anybody. that's that's the bottom line anybody, of what your testimony that it could be not someone else. It could have been anybody. And we don't know if that's our baby. And the crazy thing is, it could have been done around a year ago. And the crazy thing is, your honor. So why she didn't tell me when I asked her to take me to the hospital? Ladies, one at a time. The crazy thing is, your honor, I feel like they play with the situation and not in, in delicate. Like, my brother, he's no longer here. Right. He's not here. And if you say, okay, well, if it could be, it could be Paul's baby or it could be Tyrell's baby. The fact that my brother is no longer here and you're just saying, like, well, it could be either or. Either way, it's your niece. You're not saying it's Paul. You're saying it's Tyrell's baby. And my brother is no longer here. And if he was here, he might have would have said it was his baby. And but y'all don't want right along But he's not. And we would have. Just right along with you and your baby. Because I... The, the, if you let her finish, finish her he's not. Yeah. No, because my brother said it was his, so we went on with it. Like let I her finish her testimony. She waited patiently while you all spoke. Let her finish what Thank she's you. trying to say. Thank you. So basically, I'm not saying... At first, I was saying, yeah, I don't think it's her... You know, I don't think it's his baby and, every, and all of that. Today, you know, I, it, it can be a possibility. It can. But I honestly, I felt strongly about it because I knew a lot of her past. With, you know, she was... She got around. So at the end of the day, no, I'm not going to flock to her and say, this is my niece. No, I'm not. This is why we're here today. I'm here to find out. And I feel like there's... I'm tired of the accusations. To say that this is, in fact, Tyrell's baby, you can't say that because you know that you had other sleeping partners and you have five different baby... different baby daddies. And it, it's a possibility that it, it's not Tyrell Jones. Excuse me. Did you think about my other baby dads when you were holding her at um, Sianni's birthday, birthday party? So what? Sianni's we was trying help. to see if we look... If she Sianni's looked like her. She exactly. looked just the like her. Yeah, like, the baby, baby doesn't look like... baby doesn't look like our My brother's baby. I never said that. You're lying, Jana. Just... You're lying. I never said it was my brother's baby. Never did I say that. So you're lying. Took pictures with the baby, crying, holding his baby the whole time. I... And this is my brother's baby. It was two months after my brother died. It was emotional. Yeah, I was crying. You right, I was crying. I just lost my brother. I still cry to this day about anything about my brother. We so what? Crying. So don't say I was crying. So what are you saying? So what? You, your so point? what? That's not your brother. Right, exactly. So what? That's not everyone so, so what? That's not your brother. And so what you're saying, Ms. Chambers, is you personally witnessed her hold the baby. Yes. And express a love and affection towards the baby as her brother's child. That's yes. what you say and you witnessed. Yes. And yes. you say, Ms. Sugden, you were holding the baby, but this was not about knowing for certain it's, whether this I was I never knew for sure. To the, I, from the first day till the last day, I never knew for sure. I held the baby staring to try to see if I saw my brother in her, and I did not, and I still don't, honestly. And I'm staring and staring. Yeah, tears came down my eyes. It was... I was crying. I was at my niece's birthday party. It, it was an emotional time. It was two months after my brother's murder. Yeah, I was crying. And? Your Honor, we're just here to know the truth. That's it. That's I just want to know the truth. That's all I and want we to. have that truth for you. Thank you. I think it's time we go to the Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. The first part of this testing is to determine whether or not either brother has fathered your child. Right. The second level, if we make that determination, will be to determine which brother, in fact, fathered your child. In the case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones, pertaining to 17-month-old Quamira Jones, it has been determined by this court. Miss Christina Jones is related to Quamira Jones. <laughs> now, we know that 
One of the two brothers, <laughs> in fact, is Quamir's biological father. Now we will determine <sighs> which brother. In the case of Brogdon versus Sugden Jones, pertaining to 17-month-old Quamira Jones, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Paul Jones is not the father. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Which means... I'm sorry. Tyrell Jones is Quamira's biological father. I'm sorry. 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 I appreciate the fact that you crossed the aisle and made an apology. <laughs> you all have been through a lot. All of you. You all lost someone very near and dear. And now we can honor him by being good to her, by giving her the type of love and support she deserves, and by you all being the village that she will need. Every child needs their village. Yes. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. From this point on, we step up. We, we are there for her. I give her my phone number as soon as we leave, and um, I'm gonna help her out. Yes, we all are. I'm happy that we're, we're down to the truth, and I'm so sorry, but I'm ready to step up as her aunt and be there for whatever it is.